everyone. How's it going? Nice to see you all. I know we took a uh, week off last week, but I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. That's a bit loud. Turn that down. There we go. You should be able to see it or hear it. <laughs> see me, hear it. All should be good. All should be right in the world. Hello, Amber and Heather. Thank you guys both for being here, of course. And Ray and Swifty. Lost Mind, Amanda, hello. Brittany, of course. I saw Gus here earlier, so welcome on in. Pygmy Hippo Lover, hello. Allison, Dakota Plays. Sam, hello. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anyone, but I'm sure I have, so if I have missed you, hello. First time catching a live stream. Well, welcome in, Abby. Hello, hello. It's been a pretty stressful week, but glad things are calming down. Getting your coffee made for the stream. Perfect. I have mine and it's almost gone. Um, it's all I've had today to eat <laughs> or drink, I guess. Thank you, Veronica. I chopped it all off. All gone. And it's a bit of a point of stress for me because the person that cut it didn't cut it exactly how I wanted it. Um, so for those of you that haven't uh, seen the stream before or haven't seen me before, my hair was down past my shoulder blades. So very, very long. I got probably like eight or nine inches cut off yesterday. Um, and the, the front is good. The front is kind of what I wanted it to be, um, kind of where the length I wanted it to be. Um, but she cut the back really, really, really short. Um, really, really short. And that's not really what I wanted her to do. So <sighs> I'm trying to decide if I go to another hairdresser today and have them kind of shorten the front so that it's not such a drastic change from the front to the back. Or if I just let it grow, I don't know. I know they never get it right the first time. Well, this lady seemed really confused to what I was asking for. Um, and I don't know why, because what I was asking for is like, sure, my hair was really long and it was going to really short, but I wasn't a complicated haircut <laughs> in my mind. Hairdressers always manage to cut it shorter than we want. Well, she even said, Samantha, cause I showed her a picture. And I said, this is kind of what I'm looking for. And she said, oh, it looks really short in the picture. Do you want it that short? And I said, yeah, you know, let's keep it a little longer at first and see how I feel. And this is much shorter than the picture. So I don't, I don't know where the communication was lost, but obviously it's the back of my head. So as she's cutting, I don't, I can't see because the mirror's in front of me. So I couldn't really keep tabs on what she was doing. Um, and she just did her own thing she went with it but she she like asked another hairdresser for advice which you know is always a confidence booster if you're sitting in the chair and your hairdresser is asking for help um so it was not it was not the best experience um but yeah so i wanted to cut it off because i never do anything with my hair ever having long hair is just a waste on me because i don't I don't do anything. I don't do anything with my hair and I wanted it to be easier to take care of, easier to deal with, mostly so I don't have to do anything really. Um, so I guess that's goal met. It's much shorter. <laughs> it's all gone. Um, when I get in the shower and I wash it, it's quite weird because there's like nothing, nothing to wash. It's all, it's all gone. So, um, but yeah, it'll grow back, right? That's what hair does is it grows back. Hey, Benjamin, how are you? You need to cut mine. It's the longest it's ever been and way past the middle of your back. That is very long, Brittany. I was getting to the point where um, I was frustrated because I would lay on it while I was sleeping and it would kink my neck and I'd have to like pull it out from under my shoulders or my back or whatever. And so it was just, it was, it was getting in my way, so it needed to be gone. Um, so yeah, so it is gone. 
It is gone. But how are you guys doing today? How is your week? I know I missed you guys. The Twilight pack is out. Thank you, Swifty. You started making a mini zoo just for the Twilight pack animals. That's awesome. Anybody else started building with it or for it? Oh, yeah. Kepler, if he's grabbing your hair, cut it off. <laughs> Remove that chance so he does not get a hold of it and pull it out. These babies and little children love to pull hair. You love the Twilight Pack. Great. Waiting for your game to update. That's awesome. I, I actually really like it. And I didn't think I would. Let's switch to... So you can see what I see. Do you see what I see? Um, That is a lot of Caymans. <laughs> we didn't put that many in the uh, in the enclosure. But I'm actually really uh, impressed. So let's take a look just real fast since this is the first time since we've streamed since it came out. And looking at all the screenshots, it was obviously very much catered towards um, Halloween theming and spooky theming. And I was just worried that it was going to be all that way and I really wasn't going to have anything to build with those kind of pieces um but i'm happy with them like we got these signs right here which are uh great because they're a nice kind of general style sign um we have one for each of them we have the bats and then we have the wombat and we actually got three different bat ones so we got them kind of you know in the in a flying sequence we got what I think is my favorite, the red fox. Look how cute that is. The mushrooms would be great for a little children's setting, yeah. But like things like this, like so I'll, I can use this. This is a great generic statue, but I probably will never, never use these. Probably ever because they're very, they're very stylized and I just, I. I probably just won't ever use them. Of course, unless we place them blindfolded and then I'll have to. But by choice, I probably will never. Um, but yeah, the mushrooms are cute. I'm pretty sure, aren't they recolorable? Yeah, they're recolorable. Um, things like this are great. These little itty bitty pieces, like this is fantastic. I love that we have all those. Even though we have a ton, a ton <laughs> of beams. I actually really like these beams. I really like the kind of darker in the middle light on the edges kind of worn look to them. Um, and they're recolorable as well. So I can't complain about those. And these, okay, we don't need to be that color anymore. Love these. I use these a lot in the uh, raccoon enclosure that I built. Please upside down the wombat gargoyle because it's a great rock texture. Uh, the this one wombat. Yeah, I could see that. Oh, you mean like just its butt, maybe? Yeah. For like little little stones, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. We have this uh, decorative mushroom, mushroom stem, just the stem part. I don't know what I'll use that for. Uh, these are kind of cool. Again, very stylized. I probably won't be using those very often. Pumpkins, obviously, or jack-o'-lanterns, I guess, because they're carved. Very, very stylized. Probably won't use those. Um, we have all these castle pieces, so people that love to build castles are in luck. Um, these roof pieces are actually really cool and I, I probably won't use these ones, um, but these, I love these off the grid roof pieces. How awesome. You foresee a blindfold gargoyle tab? No, <laughs> I don't want to do it. Don't make me do it. Uh, building the reptile house and walk through exhibit right now. That's awesome. But yeah, I love that we got off the grid pieces. And then these uh, honestly are great. They're, they're a great texture. I love that they're recolorable. So those roof pieces, I think I will use a lot. We got more beams that aren't necessarily 
Maybe they are and they just look like it. They don't look perfectly straight to me. So they look very kind of weathered and rustic, which is great. Um, we skipped some of the wall pieces. So we got a new wall set, which is some uh, stone, which is kind of an uneven stone, which is cool. And then we got all these little pieces to go with it. So definitely able to build um, some random builds with it. Oh, I didn't see this piece. That's kind of cool for like tiles, right? You can kind of do this kind of thing and make it a tiled walkway. If these are recolorable, that makes it even better. Are they? Aha, they are. So that's pretty cool. Obviously I'm doing this very quickly, but you can take something like this and make a walkway with it. That's pretty cool because it's got the texture where it uh, is not straight 90 degree edge. It kind of has this cutoff, so it very much looks like tiles. I like that. I do, I like that a lot. Let's go back to, go back to the tab. Um, we of course got the off the grid pieces of these walls. I like them because they do have a good different texture. Like if we look up the other stone, I haven't done this yet. I haven't put them right next to each other, but we have that other, there's this one. So that one's very randomized stone. And then we have uh, this one from the Europe pack, which is again, more like cobblestone-y. And then where's the one I'm thinking of? It's not the breeze block, that's brick. We don't want that. Um, I thought there was another, yeah, like this is the breeze block. So you can see like cl much cleaner with the breeze block and much more weathered uh, with that. And I thought, maybe I'm wrong. It's not the templed one. Yeah, I guess that's what I was thinking of. But yeah, you can see like same but different, right? Whole nother texture, so I like that. And I didn't check, is this one recolorable? I did select, it is. Oh, and individually too. That's always nice. So you can do, I don't know why I'm, I'm picking green, but we are. <laughs> There you go. Nice, nice green wall. It's very ugly. Okay, let's get rid of that. Uh, let's go back to the concert. Nope, not the conservation pack, the twilight pack. And see what else we have down in here. We have these really obscure statues, which again, I don't think I will be using. But they're cool nonetheless. They're kind of like... They honestly kind of remind me of like voodoo dolls. Oh my goodness, that was loud. Thank you so much for the sub. Um, they remind me of voodoo dolls. I don't know, the way that they're like stitched together. I know they're supposed to be like wooden pieces with like rope and stuff, but I don't know, they're kind of weird to me. <laughs> These ones right here are the artwork uh, that Frontier sent out as a pin pack to creators. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, so if, if you're looking for that kind of thing. This piece is cool. It's like a ready-made little fence. I don't know if they count it as a fence. I think it's the portcullis. Oh, yeah, portcullis gate section. Oh, they're paper mache. Thank you. Still remind me of voodoo dolls. Got little pieces. I like these little metal pieces. These are going to be good for trimming things. Very cool. And then... Oh, we got more white uh signs so this is cool this is pretty cool because this replaces i had made it out of like rods or something like that a spider web but it was fairly large got bat signs um torch holder what is this called sconce there you go and then we got some stained glass which is kind of cool so yeah some usable some usable pieces, so I like it. And then of course, of course, we have the new animals, so striped skunk. Oh, look at that, a white one. And if eccentric, brown, red fur, and white markings, hmm, cool. Black fur, white markings, black fur, white markings, black fur, white markings. <laughs> So there's skunk there. We got red, 
box. Ooh, that one's a melanistic one. And then we've got just the red ones right there. Cool. And then of course we have raccoon. Raccoons right here, dark gray fur, gray brown fur, gray fur, looks like raccoons to me. And then the wombat, wombat. Coarse dark brown fur, coarse gray brown fur, coarse brown fur, dark brown fur. So a bunch of different variants there. Very cool. Yeah, so that's about it. Oh, let's see, what did I miss? You're gonna lightly bully me. Why do we have to? Have to, it's a strong, strong word. Okay, so I thought today, since we don't have any outstanding donations and our little, um, what are these called? Chevalsky's Wild Horses are kind of, uh, their building is kind of sad because it's only barely a facade. So I figured we would try to kind of work on that a little bit uh, until we get uh, a donation or until we're, we're done streaming, whichever comes first. Get the special ones for storage while they're available. I already have them all, but good idea. <laughs> I have a completely separate zoo file um, where I have gotten all of the piebald animals and all of the new animals, different skin variations or fur variations. I'm gonna have hopefully tomorrow a video coming out on all of the piebald uh, patterned animals. Um, and then when I do my species breakdown videos and such, I will have all of them for uh, those as well. How's the penguins? The penguins are fantastic. I actually am really enjoying working with the penguins because they are very cute um, and they're a lot of fun to work with. It's a completely different environment than I'm used to working in because they're, at least the, the polar penguins are um, vertical wooden plank. Vertical wooden plank are a uh, their enclosure is 25-ish degrees, um, so it's it's very cold. <laughs> it's very very cold, um, but it's a lot of fun. So I'm I'm very much enjoying them. I'll do that, and then this one on this side, I kind of just ended flat. So maybe we continue with that. And that can just come out to here. That way it's not just a rectangle. And maybe just for funsies, we can put a little twisty turn in it like this. So again, that it's not just, not just a rectangle. I think that's good. We can envision that there might be like stalls back along here or something like that. We're not gonna do the interior, but you know, envision. Imagination. You can handle that temp, you love the cold. I do too, but what's weird about it is it's not like I go to work and I spend all day in the enclosure. I'm in and out, in and out, in and out. So your body going from um, hot to cold, hot to cold, hot to cold all day long um, is something to get used to <laughs> to say the least it is not something that's natural for your body so my temperature gauge and my thermoregulating abilities uh are very much thrown completely off is this oh of course i use the non-gridded pieces but this is the stained wood wall panel wow it got really bright didn't it I just realized that with my window open and everything, my um, my lighting is very, very bright. Hold on, let me fix it really quickly. No wonder, I felt like I was squinting. There, that's much, <laughs> that's much better. Much better. Much better, much better. Um, 
Yeah, so my, my ability to thermoregulate is very, very thrown off. Quick question, haven't caught up on the past streams yet. Are there zebras in this zoo? No, there are not. There are cheetahs, but there are not zebras. Uh, as far as African animals go. We want stained wood wall. Um, but it's fun. I'm working uh, very early hours, which is also very nice. I'm home by 3.30 or 4, usually, um, because I'm off at 3 o'clock. An animal to build for! Your favorite one! Heather, thank you so much. So much. This zoo can totally use giraffes. That is fantastic. Let's get those love comments in the chat for Heather. Beautiful Heather. Thank you so much. Let me line this up and then we will get building for the giraffes right away. There we go. Because we don't care what the interior looks like, so it's okay that it's, it's thicker than that. Doesn't matter. Let me copy this color. Ooh, what are we going to do for the giraffes? I have only ever built one giraffe enclosure. So we might have to consult, oops, we might have to consult Pinterest on this one. All right, so let's do that. Bring this back down so it's not floating. Woohoo, giraffes. They are very cute animals. Have you ever gotten to feed one, Heather? I have not, but I've always wanted to. Good enough. Perfect. <gasps> Zebras would be fantastic. Oh my goodness. Especially one named Zipper. You got it. Allison, hearts and love. I need to write this down because now I'm not going to remember. Let's see. Let's go back to my stream thing and I'm gonna have to start a whole new paper because I'm running out of room on this one I've filled it up feeding them is so much fun I know they have such long tongues and they kind of grip it and bring it in yeah it looks like we're starting an African area because we got zebras and giraffes now our first vote here our first vote here and let's see I'm gonna give Allison and Heather you guys let me know what you feel about this because you two are the ones that donated one habitat with both of them because they can live together or would you guys like separate habitats if either of you say you would like a separate habitat that's how it's going to be because i want you guys to be able to choose if you say that you don't care that they're combined i will leave it up to chat to do a vote but i want to give you guys first preference because you guys of course were the ones that donated Don't mind either way, perfect. One habitat would be great. Okay, so it seems like, seems like you don't care. So is a vote okay for you guys? Let's see, Allison, just writing down your name so I can remember who, we're gonna need to go back and add signs on the habitats as well so that we can remember who donated for them. Giraffes and zebras are so cool. Perfect, perfect. Okay, we'll do a vote then. Um, zebra. Ouch. Stab myself with a pen. Together is your favorite option. Well, we'll do a vote just in case. Um, combine. Together or separate. Together or separate. Together. Oops, separate. Did I spell separate right? I'm going to type out single because I don't feel like I spelled separate right. And I don't want you to make fun of me. <laughs> and I don't want to look it up. So there you go. Together or single. Go ahead and vote in that. And then we need to take a trip to Pinterest. because I don't really have an idea for giraffes or zebras. 
So let me get that up right now. Excuse me, Pinterest. Thank you. African zoo habitat. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I'll show you guys this in just a second. All right. We all spell that word wrong. Perfect. I don't feel alone. Fantastic. We always do separate exhibits with zebras because of how nasty they can be and moody. I've heard that they're nasty and moody. I've had such a struggle spelling words this week. Uh, entity and institution have too many T's. I am the world's worst speller. So I completely sympathize. I do never, do never, I never judge anyone on their spelling abilities because mine are atrocious. Oh, what happened to my hair? You look great. Thank you, uh, Karina. I chopped it all off yesterday. Chopped it all off. I was done dealing with the long hair. I wanted something different. I wanted something that I didn't have to fiddle with every day um, that was just out of my way. And so this is what I came up with. All right, we're going to end the poll. Let's see. It looks like together one, which is great. Oh, yeah, 75%. Fantastic. Let's take a look at Pinterest here. So the one that I said was cool was this one, but this is like indoors. But I'm thinking that one could be kind of cool for like a viewing area, right? You just, you typically, not that you can't, this is just much more of a carnivore looking habitat to me because it's glass. And typically hoofstock is kind of out, um, out in like just a fenced area first mixed habitat that's right it was yesterday when you could spell Appalachia without any mistakes I mean we could we could um have this be just a shelter have this be opened and do like a little patio with a fence on the outside that could be kind of cool so let me save this one. Hello, computer? Hello? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Can I have this? You are a struggle bus today. Can I have this? Okay, apparently not. We're gonna go to pictures. You guys can see all my thumbnail pictures from the screenshot reveals. Do inspo and we'll do African habitat, African habitat. Perfect. So save that one because that one's in there. I guess I can pin it too, right? Uh, planet zoo inspiration. Let's go back to the original one there. See if anything else. This one's kind of cool too. I think Estan used this one for one of his habitats as well. I know the computer was like, nope. You got to do it my way. I don't care what you want. Ooh, what's this? Can I see this one close up, please? It's kind of cool. I kind of like this structure. We could do... Oh, what's this? I'm getting distracted. I like this one. I like how, like, bright it is. Will this get bigger? No, but I like how bright this is and how it's not necessarily like it, like you don't look at it and you go, oh, that's an African building, you know? What do we think? This one's lovely. Heather and Allison, what do we think? I, I like this one. I think I like this one. Let's save it as, why are we, okay. Wait, is this saving? You know, saving as a web page. I don't want to save it as a web page. I want to save it as a picture. Save image as. There we go. African habitat. Oh, hello. Two. Two. Great. You can see how many inspiration pictures I actually have saved. 
It does look like my style. I think we're gonna do it. Look at the Rotterdam Zoo giraffe house. Rotterdam Zoo giraffe house. Oh, I've seen this one. Um, Delady did a recreation of this one. And actually, I bet somewhere along the lines here, her thumbnail will pop up. Yeah, I've definitely seen this one before. I don't necessarily want to do something that out there, though. I like the picture that we found. So let me bring it up over here. I don't want to show you guys too much. Some of those recent files are new videos that I'm working on. I don't want you to see. Uh, not that you won't see them anyway, but... <laughs> Uh, African habitat. Where did it go? Where'd it go? I did save it. Aha. Aha. Can you open it, please? Thank you. My computer is not having things today. It's tired. It's tired. Hey, Bold. How are you? Check out the Budapest Zoo African region. This one looks great. Good to know I will not be the only one misspelling words here. Oh no, you will certainly not. If I could be the queen of something, it would be queen of misspellings. Okay, now, here we go. Now location, 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 location. I kind of want to put it here. Like if we did, so I'm trying to orient this building. If we did habitat out this way and the building here, the building could be like implied restaurant because we we really don't have any food i mean we could throw some food stalls in there or a restaurant or anything like that i just don't really want to build a restaurant um but yeah we could put the building here with this let me bring this up here we could put the building don't do that we could put the building here with like this little trellis part on this side looking out at the habitat that way Look, I like this fence too. Ooh, I like this picture. I might have to recreate something like this in Sandbox for a video. Because <laughs> I like this. <gasps> Bold, you got a new horse. Like a new horse for you or a new client training horse? Because I know you have tons of horses on your property, but is this a new Bold owned horse? That's very exciting if it is. And if it is, I want to know all about it. And is it a project horse? Like, did you buy something super green with issues? Or did you get something that is a nice and well-trained, well-mannered horse? I feel like you would have gotten a project horse. <laughs> Dusty's a cute name. Is it a red roan horse or like a, like a um, chestnut? Because Dusty is normally like a red roan or a, a chestnut horse. He's doing really good. He's put on a lot of weight already. Great. Uh, but also frustrating because we haven't had to give him super intense care. He just needed to be fed. Oh, he just needed some groceries. He just needed love and groceries. We picked up a horse at auction that was severely emaciated. That's always so sad that people just do that and dump them. <sighs> All right, I'm thinking we build this out of plaster because that's my favorite wall piece. <laughs> and if it can be built out of plaster, it should be built out of plaster. Love and groceries, that's all I need to. <laughs> it's true. Sounds like, it sounds like my necessities to live as well. Love and groceries and video games. 
Love groceries video games. Uh, let's do it this way because it's in the sun and then we'll rotate it around. Where is... Keeper, come here. Oh, I can't move you because you're in a habitat. Get out. They're fine. Get out. Oh, something's inbreeding, but you guys told me to leave the capybaras alone. So there you go. Inbred capybaras is what you get. It's what you signed up for. Just like dogs, food and love. Pretty much all animals. My um, cockatiel, Tortellini, um... I have let his flight feathers grow out uh, because I I feel like uh, birds should be able to fly as long as they're like trained to be safe and whatnot. Like they're not gonna fly out the door or something like that. Um, so since I've had him the last couple years, I've been working with him because he was very flighty. Like he would panic, panic when you walked up to the cage when I first got him. And now I can take him out and I can hold him and do all that kind of stuff. Um, but I was waiting until he was, like, I was confident that when I put him on my hand, he's going to stay with me. Because even though he doesn't go outside at all, I was just always worried, like, what if? What if he accidentally gets spooked and, you know, Matt's going out the door or something like that? I didn't want him to fly away. So long story short, he's at the point now where I do feel like he's safe and he's not going to like fly out the door or anything so I have let his wings grow out and I've started to let him fly and so in the morning I'll take him out and I say ready set go and I kind of do this with my hand and he flies to the other end of the room and then he flies back onto his cage it's very cute and he loves it so much and then sometimes because we leave the door to his cage open he can just come out and, and walk around and hang out wherever he wants to um, he'll fly to my stairs because my stairs have steps with spaces in between. And so he can fly under the stairs and land on a step. He'll sit there for a minute and then he'll fly back to his cage like, okay, I'm done. You know, I explored. <laughs> it's very cute. Um, but I just, I believe in letting them kind of be animals, you know, like he would fly in the wild. It's a really good form of exercise. It's a really good form of mental stimulation for him because... You know, he gets to fly around and whatnot. As, again, as long as he's safe, I make sure all doors and windows are all closed before he comes out. Then he loves it. I feel like this is a little too thick. And what I might do is actually take this and use that one piece that I was looking at first and just double it up. Because I feel like that would be a better representation of what I'm going for like this trim around the sides or honestly maybe it can even be this thin and I just was overestimating what we needed to do does that look white to you I'm gonna start another color argument I feel like this plaster looks a little bluish instead of white but it's not the end of the world if it's not like white white Yeah, you agree. If you don't want to let it fly, don't have a bird. Yeah. I mean, again, as long as you can keep it safe and it has no injuries. Like, um, my family has an elderly cockatiel and they keep her wings pretty much clipped. She's really old and kind of frail. And so if it's not pink, Brittany, if she was to fly and hit the ground, we fear she might hurt herself because she's just old. Um, and she doesn't even attempt anyway. So honestly, if we didn't clip her wings, she probably wouldn't go anywhere. But Tortellini is a young, spry cockatiel. Purple? Looks white to me. Thank you, Dot, for giving me a real answer. I have like 30 horses at my house right now. <laughs> because who needs free time? Luckily, it's a rainy day, uh, so you get the day off. Woohoo! If you don't like the natural behaviors of any animal, don't get that animal. Yes. Yes, yes. Exactly. They should be able to be animals. What a concept. What a concept. Okay. This is clearly way too tall, but with the power of shrinkage, there you go. We want it to be... 
that high. Like, I always envision if he put his arm up, it would be, like, to here, right? So I don't want him to be able to touch the ceiling. So that looks good to me. There's that. And then it has this kind of grate above it. And I think... Isn't there a piece... Isn't there a piece I used in Mayberry's entrance? Oh, excuse me. Mayberry's entrance. Where is it? I always have the hardest time finding my own blueprints. Aha. This one. I thought I used... Oh, it's just this. So that's probably what we'll use. Hold on, what is it? It's the wooden arbor crossed. Okay, get rid of that. Wooden arbor. Aha, and there is a longer piece. <laughs> Aha, <laughs> that came to my mind. Looks gray to you too. I think it's okay if it looks gray and it's not like white, white, right? I think, <coughs> I think like, bright white would be a bit blinding might have to settle some lawsuits of people losing their vision getting their eyes burned out of their head looking at a white white wall found a really random crash if you try to color the stained wood four meter by two meter piece it will crash your game the color the stained wood weird I had a crash for a while when I first got my hands on the Twilight Pack, where if I tried to release a raccoon to the wild, it would crash my game. And I was, I was so mad at it <laughs> because I was trying to do stuff for like pre-release and whatnot. And I was like, this is the stupidest crash in the world. But fortunately it resolved itself pretty quickly and I didn't have to worry too much about it. Okay, um, now it kind of comes up with skinnier framing up there. Just because I'm on this panel, what does this look like if we color it all white? Do we like that? Maybe. Do we like this as the framing instead? Instead of the plaster? It gives a bit of a different texture. Hold on, let's just experiment here for a minute. Bring that right up to the edge. You have two German Shepherds. Uh, that you would go to jail to protect. I feel that way about my doggos too. I only have, I only have Koa in here with me today. He's a sleepy boy. You can't see his face because it's behind my mic. But he's a very sleepy boy. And I apologize. The lawnmower is going in the back. They, um, they were here this morning and then they went away. So I thought we were safe to stream and then they came back. And I don't understand their schedule. I kind of like this. I kind of like this because it gives it a different texture instead of being all same. Same, same. Let's move this out a little bit. There we go. And then there's another one at the top. Like that. Let's lower these. Yeah, I like this. He is a sleepy boy. I uh, I always ask them, like, who's ready to go upstairs for streaming? And uh, he's the only one that followed me this morning. The other two couldn't be bothered. So they're downstairs. Here's the problem. Go 
guess that doesn't look bad. It's symmetrical on either side. It's nap time, but Kepler wants to be uh, awake to hear Savannah's voice. Oh, he's so cute. I love that he loves my voice. <laughs> They're on strike. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Okay, so then I can't really tell. There's like these little colored, let me show you. There's like these, and they're very tiny. There's like these little colored pieces right here. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to recreate those or not. I'm going to hold off on them and just see. But now looking at the picture, I'm second guessing our choice of texture. Like, if, I almost feel like this should not be plaster. This should be a wooden piece. Um, but the th thing is, maybe we can use the new Twilight wooden piece. <coughs> Excuse me. Because we're not going to have, like, a solid wooden piece, like, without any um, panels that covers this whole thing. Where the flippin' heck is all the pieces that I'm looking for? Goodness gracious. I mean, we could always, this is my tried and true favorite. So we'll put this one down. This is gonna be a vote time. And then this one here. Oh Lord, this, <laughs> this piece is not uh, piece count conducive, but we're gonna go with it. So let's color this to white because we know it, we know we want it to be white. So white and white and now let's put it so that you guys can envision envision my vision so like that or that is that good enough to envision okay so we have here i'll do this that way we can see what it would really look like that one's gonna have a line there, so we might we might not like that one. Oh goodness. Okay, so we have the twilight panel, the plaster, or the stained wood wall. So which wall? We have the twilight one. Twilight, plaster, or stained wood. Go. <laughs> you can go ahead and vote. The right one, stained wood. Yeah, it's twilight right here, plaster right here, um, stained wood right here. I have my favorite already. This gives it more, like the wood pieces give it more of a barn feel, which might be good for um, the enclosure that, we going, that we're going for. But then I'll be honest, it does make me want to change this because none of these have this kind of wood. Oh, pause. Pause. new option we're gonna do a new vote we're gonna we're gonna do a new vote so hold on let me get this one in here as a contender because what i just realized is we can match the texture of it i totally forgot that there was these flat pieces Okay, so that's the arbor panel. So hold on, hold on, hold on. End that one. Start a new one. Which wall? So twilight, and then we'll go below it to the arbor panel. 
and then we'll do plaster, which I feel like nobody voted for. Yeah, plaster was 6%, so, but I'll include it anyway. And then stained wood. Now, this is, this is the real vote. The first one was the joke vote. You'd mix plaster in the arbor panel. Like plaster as the wall and the arbor as like the trim. Or, or plaster on the bottom with the arbor panel on the top with like a little trim piece in between. You have a pet bearded dragon, so if I tell him something, he just does not care. Yeah, bearded dragons uh, are not very trainable. <laughs> They're great pets. Great pets. But there's only very few reptiles that are like trainable reptiles. They are trainable to a certain extent. They're just not easy. Because reptiles are very instinctual based. He is really fun. Yeah, reptiles, um, bearded dragons are very fun. All right, did you guys get your votes in? I'm gonna end it early because we already had a chance to do the first one. What did we say? Okay, stained wood it is. This, get rid of, get rid of, get rid of, get rid of. So this is our new wall here and here. It's a good choice. I like this choice. Like this. We'll stop the Z fighting. There we go. So now, um, if we go to beam, conservation one have we could use we could use something like this is that the longest it comes in no okay it's not quite as thick but we could do that or let's just see what else. There's a certain one that I was thinking of and I thought it was a conservation pack one, but I could be wrong. We have so many wooden beams in the game now. <laughs> we have so many. That one's a little... could work. <laughs> I'm really indecisive today. Really indecisive. Let's do that one. Bring it in a little. So if we do this one in white. White. That one's nice because it's a little rustic still, but it doesn't have like the little tan things. Wow, it like disappeared. So let's uh let's get rid of that one and get rid of that one. So this is a little bit harder to tell the difference between, but let's go with this. We'll go with the conservation one. We'll go with the arbor one or the wooden beam. Okay, so which beam? So what did I say? We have the conservation one. I'm just gonna call the second one the Africa pack one because the African, because that's what it came from. And then the other one is the um, South America. Okay, go. So conservation, African, South American. Let me unhighlight it so you can actually see. I definitely have my favorite, so choose correctly, everyone. Choose the right one. Most species of fish are also difficult to train, but yours have learned when feeding time is. You like the beam being teal with the white? Goron, stop adding options. <laughs> stop adding options. Maybe that's the beam I was thinking of. I thought there was a thicker, a th Thicker beam? 
Or was there a... Yeah. That's tiny. That's not what I want. This one's a little bit skinnier, though. I kind of want a fatter bean. Although that one does look really nice. Pick the blue one. None of them are blue, Amber. Okay, did you guys all vote? What did you pick? Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> we'll go with that one. That was not the one that I was going to pick. But it's okay. So we'll do this. We do want it to stick out a little bit. Not that you can really tell from that angle. But that way we have a little bit of depth. Depth. To it. And we'll go all the way over to here. Match it up. I was going to pick the South America one. But this is a good one too. This is a good one too. My vote still would have lost. It's wider than our thingamajiggy. Conservation. Conservation beam. This beam feels a bit too bright. We can fix that. I will, um, I can kind of recolor it to be a bit more on the gray side since this one is it is a bit bright with like the the straight white coloration excuse me i wanted to place that thank you um but that's easy to fix hopefully she says not actually knowing if it's easy to fix or not so if we take this and we just kind of go down a little bit Oh yeah, easy to fix. Oh, beautiful. I like this one so much more with that. There we go. That was my main issue was the fact that it was like really blindingly white. Can this all be one um, thing? Because building this is becoming difficult when I can't just select a whole bunch of things very easily. Okay. And then up to there we'll bring this down a bit like that and then there we go I wonder, Arbor, would it look better if we did the little panels? I wonder if they fit nicely. Let's see. If they fit nicely, this might look better. Oh, of course they don't fit nicely. Why would they fit nicely? Yeah, that doesn't look better. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. The other option would be, God, so many options today, is to do something like this. Like, isn't there a happy medium? Like that, I guess, where there's in the middle. That? Does that look better if we color these all to white like the other one? I like the other way. We're going to keep it how it was. I like it that way. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. We can lower this, though, because now this is, like, really tall comparative to our little man. So we'll lower it to uh, here or so. Excuse me. Um, now we just basically need to make this a rectangle. 
So if we do that, two, three. This is gonna look really nice when we get the um, little canopy going because the canopy is like a natural wood color and so it'll have some nice contrast instead of everything being super white. And then in the front, it's a bit different, but I think I'll just keep it this same pattern. The These little sections get bigger on the front, but I think for sake of simplicity, uh, we will keep it this way. Gosh, it's hard to see the corners meeting up on a white on white thing. So we're gonna guess and say that is lined up because I really couldn't tell you if it's not. Can I please put my zoo in dark mode? It's hurting your eyes. <laughs> I actually don't even have like, uh, Drew and Estan give me, um, uh, give me grief about it all the time that I don't have my, uh, social medias and stuff in dark mode. I look at I look at everything on light mode, like Facebook and Twitter. Instagram's on dark mode. It did that itself though. I didn't set it. But yeah, all my all my social medias are are on uh, on light mode. And they, they make fun of me all the time. Like if I send them screenshots of stuff. I know Drew Drew has said in the past like I can't look at that. It's too bright. Thank you so much for the sub. We'll do this. We'll bring this over. So it's not building into that. And then let's spin this around and we're gonna have a rectangle. How exciting is that? That we made a rectangle. Finally someone else using light mode. I just, I like it. I don't know. Supposed to be what you like looking at, right? Nobody else looks at my phone or computer. Therefore, I think it doesn't matter what everybody else says. All right, we have a rectangle. Uh, no, Discord is on. Does Discord even have a light mode? Discord's just always been like, like dark gray for me. Because I really didn't know there was another option. Um, I should have put a black panel behind all these so they're not see-through, but something else that we might come back to. Okay, roofing. Roofing. I kind of want to make... It's a little bit longer and skinnier, so I kind of feel... Hold on. I kind of feel like this needs one more panel long ways because proportionally it doesn't look exactly correct it looks a little bit too square so there this will be this will be more rectangular and then maybe keeping it individual panels is a good idea no that's not what i said i guess i do have to make that a group oh well that's fine that's fine slide it over Light mode triggers your anxiety? Is that what you're saying, Brittany? Discord made a light mode mostly as a joke. <laughs> you should watch the annou announcement video for it. That's funny. That I mean, it has to mean that I'm in the, the minority of looking at things on light mode. Except for Discord. Discord is on dark mode. <laughs> because that's what people who aren't psychopaths use. Well, good. I'm not a psychopath because my Discord is not on light mode. Just Twitter and Facebook. I feel like like Twitter to me looks very weird on dark mode. And I don't know why. It just does. Instagram looks very weird to me on light mode. So that's why it's on dark mode for me. That's 
a better shape. I like that better. So, roofing. Roofing. Pitched roofs. So, it is kind of a slated roof. Or a tiled roof, I guess. Is that what you call it? This isn't recolorable, no. But we could do this. Here's options time. Get it up to there like that. So that one I think would be good. Mm, not that one. Well, I guess maybe this one as like a different. We'll leave that one as a last resort. Desktop YouTube on dark mode doesn't feel right to you either. Yeah, my YouTube is always on light mode. Because I didn't know there was another way. <laughs> it's just always, it's always on light mode. That, ooh, I like that option. Not going to give away my favorite pick so easily, but yeah, I like that option. Of course, we're going to throw the new roof in there because that one could look good. It is recolorable. I'm not seeing any other, I do not want to use the aquatic roof. Too big of tiles. Does not work. Yeah, I think that's it, really. Okay, so let me put the picture back up so you can see. This is what we're basing it off of. So these are my three. Maybe let me recolor this real quick just so we get a better feel for what it could be. Okay, close enough. We can always fiddle with it. Exit, exit. Bring back up my photo. Come back. Okay, so which roof? We're going to vote again. Which proof? Um, I'm just going to do one, two, and three. Because I don't care what they're called. <laughs> Was that too honest? <laughs> because it's easier. There we go. Saying I don't care seems really harsh. Your Discord's on light mode? Psychopath. Holy cow, I always hear people say, don't do light mode uh, for Discord. So you checked it out and wowza, it's insane. Way worse than you could have ima imagined. I feel like, cause Discord has a lot of just like the dark space, right? Cause it's, it's basically just text channels. So I do feel like it would be way worse than anything else. Uh, this is going to be like a guest building. So whether like it's a restaurant or information or bathrooms or whatever it is, it's it's not um, in the enclosure. So you can see the enclosure is going to be out on this side. This is where the giraffes and the zebras are going to be. And then this is like the guest building. So they'll walk around here. We're going to do this little gazebo thingy. I'm really excited about this little pergola attached to it. Um... And yeah, we'll do this upper part of the roof as well. But yeah, this is guest building. My my cup reminds you of the fair lemonade cups. It's actually a Starbucks cup that I got in Hawaii. And so it's just pineapple colored. <laughs> and it's just water in there because I've been really bad about drinking water recently. The twilight roof, because it's flexi colored. So if you want to change the color, then you don't need to build it all over again. Very true. Okay, did you vote? And poll. What did you pick? Two. Wow, 50% of the vote. All right. So not you, not you, get out. It does have, oh, hello. It does, what's this one called? Slate roof. Slate roof. We want the corner pieces. Corner. And corner. And middle. 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 Oh, this actually might fit pretty well. It needs some trim. Excuse me. I love coffee so much, but it, it gives me heartburn so bad. So I just 
drink coffee and eat Tums at the same time. But this morning it's not really working. Look at that. It's like I'm a professional. Beautiful. Now we need the pointier part. Pointier part? Is this pointy enough? And this part is just a pitched one. So let's do, let's just do this off the roof and then move it into place. Like that. Hey little Miss Evil. It is 11.41. Wow, Heather and Amber, look at how far I've made it. <laughs> I told them both. I was like, it might be a short stream today because I have a really bad headache and I don't feel very good. And look at this. I am having fun building this habitat. So here we are. It's all thanks to you, Heather and Allison. Mm, kind of want it to continue out like this. Should I just center it? Should it be this long? Like that? Looks pretty good. I feel like, actually, I feel like this is a bit more pitched than we picked. So I feel like this one is this roof. Um, let's just see what it looks like. Like that, and then this roof comes down yeah I, I feel like that that looks a little more correct this isn't quite as steep I think as the other one is but I feel like this just looks closer so that's that's what we're gonna go with so let me delete all of this it just my goat excuse me that's not what I clicked on it's just my go-to to pick the lowest slated slanted roof I want this corner piece. So that's just like my instinct and what I click on, but it's not always correct. Yes, AM. It is 11.43 AM. AM. And I gotta get my butt working on some content after I'm done here. I, um, thanks to Leaf, the wonderful Leaf, um, he actually helped me out massively because I spent six hours, six hours looking for the piebald animals so that I could do a piebald showcase. Um, almost went insane, was not having a good time. So Leaf... <laughs> made me a wonderful, easy little mod, which increases, all it does is increase the chances of getting the piebald animals. So now I have them all so that I can show them off. It was a nightmare before I realized that Leaf could help me out. So I'm gonna film that today. I'm gonna film that today and, uh, and hopefully get that out tomorrow. There we go, I think that looks, whoa, camera the hell are you doing what hello can we not jesus it's 8 44 p.m for you for sandbox or franchise in this zoo is a sandbox zoo yeah, but did you see how many raccoons were in the habitat on Leaf's video? He had a lot of them, but I've I've found all three of them um, pretty easily. And what I've done is gotten rid of all the extras. Um, I can show you guys. We can pop over to that zoo right before I end. Um, but I got rid of all the ex. For some reason, that didn't look centered for a second. Why doesn't it look centered? Am I going crazy? That looks better. 
Okay. Um, yeah, I sold off all the extras. What was this wood panel called? What did we decide? Stained wood. Um, but yeah, it pff, was a mission finding the piebald animals. It's actually something that I was a little upset about because if you think about it, like without a, without a mod, I spent six hours and the only ones that I found were the female Niala and the red foxes. The only ones I found were just those two. If I were just a regular player, and the piebald patterns actually just came out, you know, they're brand new things, and I want to explore them as a player six hours, and I still wouldn't have gotten to see them all. I, I feel like those odds are just a little bit broken. Because I, I really feel like it should be, it should be easier for players like that. Oh, I didn't do the pattern. I kind of don't like the pattern on the roof. Is it okay if I skip it? <laughs> I want to just put like a little window up there, like a little circular window or something instead of this sunburst pattern. Jeez, bold. Yeah, so I did that too. I actually loaded up a habitat with Niala and I let it run overnight. I went to bed and let him run, let him breed, and I came back to an almost crashed game. Frame rates very very low and I still didn't have one still didn't have one and I put like good genetically breeding Niala's in the habitat to see if I could get yeah so I just I don't know I don't often have complaints about Planet Zoo I I do feel like I'm a little bit more on like the not the like go with the flow side because that sounds bad not that the community is really complainy but there's a lot of stuff that the community kind of has gripes with and I'm just I just kind of feel like eh, I don't really care it doesn't bother me that much um but this is one of those things like I it bothers me because it's not fair for players that want that want that I don't know if this is gonna look good but we're gonna try it I don't like it. <laughs> the Planet Series has an awesome community. They do. They really do. There's not really a round window like what I was thinking. I mean, I guess this one could work. Maybe that and we just don't let the glass part show through. Let's color this to a, um, like a brown color. So yeah, anyway, that's my little mini complaint slash rant on, on the odds for piebald and special animals. It's just, just a little ridiculous in my opinion. <laughs> You've been complaining about this since launch? Well, I finally got on the bandwagon. <laughs> Goron, I'm on your side now. This is dumb. And I honestly, I didn't have a problem with it until I started doing these species breakdown videos. And, you know, as, as a content creator, like, it's one thing if I were just playing, you know, and that's what really got me frustrated. But two, as a content creator, like putting six hours into a video and still not even being 50% done or the way to being done is like way, way too much, way too much. Am I gonna add gables? Does Savannah know what gables are? <laughs> if you would like to explain what gables are, maybe I will add them. <laughs> I want the Sandbox Trade Center to be just one of each. Yes! Like, it's it's Sandbox, right? Like, Sandbox has unlimited money, unlimited conservation credits. Unlimited. It shouldn't be that hard. It's those attic window things. Oh. 
Uh, aren't there some in here? Kind of like this kind of situation, right? But like sticking up straight and not looking awful. Like that. I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave it plain because that's how it is in the picture. And I kind of like, I kind of like the, the simplicity of it. Dormers. Is that what I'm thinking of? Well, we're going to do, we're going to do trim now. And we're going to do the same trim uh, that we were using. But maybe a smaller, yeah, this one. Why would a barn need those? I don't know. Maybe it looks pretty. Have you ever seen an albino zebra? They are really pretty uh, with their light gray stripes. I have not. So I'm doing the species breakdown videos in alphabetical order. Except for the fact that I might break that and do a raccoon one very soon. Just because it's a new animal. Um, I have a habitat to show it off in. And I found all of the variants <laughs> all those three three things combined mean that all i have to do is sit down and talk about it and make a video out of it um and then i also have everything for an african penguin which is technically the next one on the list because that's next after african buffalo for going in alphabetical order so i might be able to get those two out fairly soon and then a piebald video. I have, look at this. This is very quickly my to-do list. I know you can't really read that, but that's a to-do list there. Because then the other video is I'm in the process of testing. This is a list of every single habitat animal and I'm testing all of their escape animations. So far I've only tested aardvark, African buffalo, and African penguin. Spoiler, aardvark and African penguin don't do anything when they escape. But the African buffalo does. But I'm going to make a video out of that too. Oh, also the African elephant I don't think does anything. Which I was bummed about. I kind of wanted it to like pick up the trash can with its trunk or something. But it doesn't do anything. It does not care about trash cans. Can't read that even with my glasses and squinting. Perfect. Because it technically should be a surprise. I shouldn't be revealing my secrets. Um... But yeah, and then that's another point to talk about too, is that's not the right color. Make it a little bit, there we go. Um, the escape animations. So I was really excited about that because that's obviously it's something new and something um, more exciting, makes the animals more interesting when they do escape and such. I thought they would do more than just attack trash cans i thought trash cans were the like one that they were showing off and just the yeah just the one they were showing off i guess um but it seems to be the only thing that the animals go for they do not go for anything else when they escape i put i put a lot of different things down like benches and tables and um umbrellas and uh donation bins and actually i didn't put down donation bins I should test that and see if they knock down donation bins. Um, but yeah, so far it seems like they really only go for the trash cans, which I mean, it's not a bad animation, but I kind of wanted, I kind of wanted more. But I will say animations are difficult. I have no um, gauge, I guess would be the right word for how hard it is to um, implement animations into the game. But yeah, I was just kind of hoping that they would have a, a couple more than just trash cans. Yeah, they said trash cans. Okay. Which is fine. I still have plenty of work to do just testing all the animals. I mean, you guys saw that list. It's a whole page. Um, just testing animations. So. There, I feel like that makes it look a little bit nicer. Even if these are both white. It's just a little bit nicer of a trim. Makes it, makes it fit. Yeah, more would be nice. And see, now I just feel like, again, I, I'm not, I love the game. These are, this is feedback 
from a game lover. Not negative, just feedback. So yeah, those are the videos that I'm working on. And then of course some more speed builds and things. This might be a good thing to put up on the workshop actually. This little building once we're done with it. I can totally do that. I put the raccoon habitat up on the workshop by the way. If you guys are in my discord, I did post that on the Planet Zoo uh, blueprint channel. But that's up. I said in the video that I was going to and I did upload it, but because I uploaded it during my early access time, it wasn't public. And then I just forgot to change it to public because I'm I suck. Yes, workshop, please. You got it. You got it. I can do that. You hate Planet Zoo. That's why you've played it for 4,000 hours. I don't know how many hours. I'm going to... I don't have Steam up. I feel like I'm only at like 1,000 hours. Like, I really don't have a lot of hours comparative to other... Even just players, but content creators. I really don't have a lot of hours in the game. You have an exam tomorrow, so you have to leave now so you can study. Good luck on your exam, Alice. Thanks for hanging out and being here with us. Good luck. Exams are not something I miss. <laughs> I am very happy to not have exams anymore. Now... I think, I think, I think, I think that this is going to be the same thing that we use for up here, over here, trim, that. You're so slow. No, you're just detailed and crazy. That's the difference is I don't build teeny tiny little things with a million different font pieces. Cause I don't have the patience for that. So you're not slow. I don't feel like that's not on the intersection between the two things. I think it needs to come out and down more. There we go. Great, move it to the other side. No way I only have a thousand hours. I'm pretty sure, hold up. I can solve this problem, I can check. I have 930 hours, 930 and a half hours. So not even, I'm not even at a thousand hours. So there you go. Not even at a thousand hours. Nope, nope, nope. What is this atrocity? Thank you, Heather. Oh, thank you, Amber. Are you on your computer, Amber? Is it lunchtime? Uh, this doesn't really have a trim up top, but it does have one going up the sides which I feel like does need to be done because it will look nicer yeah only 930 hours look at what you can do in 930 hours you can create two years worth of content on YouTube only 930 hours up to the top there and then down this is gonna come out the wall isn't it oh not quite but I'm gonna do a shorter piece because those are open and I don't really want to be able to see it that much is this gonna be easy for me if I do this Beautiful, I didn't tilt it enough, but beautiful. Hey, 
yeah can you believe that though that the um that the channel is uh two years old it's a long time to do something for i was thinking about it is it it might be over two years but i started creating content um when the when the south america pack came out just well maybe just after the arctic pack just after the Arctic pack. Cause I remember the South America pack was the first pack I ever got a code for. And I didn't get early access. I just got a free, free code from Bo. I hate interiors, whoever's saying that I like them. Uh, I have 2,300 and that's like enough hours to earn a PhD. <laughs> that is depressing. But that's also a lot of freaking hours. Oh, uh, pygmy hippo lover. Yeah, I don't like interiors. So unless somebody like donates and forces me to, I'm going to avoid it at all costs. All right. I want, I want, sound demanding. I want to do the pergola because uh, I feel like these should be white too. Let's see if we can do that easily. And if we can't do it easily, I'm going to take a break from the roof and do uh, the pergola. So let's see. Like this, because I, I want to do the pergola because it's going to add some color. I'm struggling because this is all very uh, like monotone. I mean, not monotone, but it's only two colors. So I'm feeling like, feeling, oh, 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 that's not what I want. Um, I'm just feeling like it needs a little bit more interest and whatnot put into it. So the only thing I'm worried about looking good is the ends of these. So if the ends of these can look good, then I will be satisfied. We'll see what this looks like. Ugh, it got hot in my office all of a sudden. It was getting cold and I was almost about ready to uninstall my little air conditioning unit. And then, um, and then the weather got really hot again. It was like 93 degrees out yesterday. What the heck? It's supposed to be winter time. All right, am I still listening to the right playlist? I think so, but I'm gonna be safe and restart it. So if we make these thicker, that might just save that issue of it kind of overlapping right there. So if we just do this kind of thing. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. That looks good. I'm gonna bring this out just a little bit to hide that because I'm annoying and a perfectionist. Can I have this please? Thank you. Isn't there a little piece? Maybe, hopefully I got it. Mwahaha interiors. No, that's not a mwaha moment. There. Perfect. Now we just have to do all four corners. I don't really want to right now, so we're going to work on the pergola part. Okay. Should we stick with the same conservation pack things, uh, beams, but just color them something different because I'm pretty sure there's this one, which is, that's a little bit too skinny. So maybe we do this. Maybe we just double these ones to make a more of a square. Like that 
for like the posts. That's more like a four by four post. I'm gonna switch it around so it's not so tiled and samey. Yeah, oh, that works perfect. That's beautiful. Love the trim, thank you very much. I enjoy it as well. Let's do like a warmer color, maybe like that. It's a little bit light. Like, it's too dark. Maybe more orange and less red. That is disgusting. Like that. I think that color looks good. Cool. So then it's a simple, simple, she says, simple as making a frame. So we want this one to come to the building like so. It's going to go on the corner, but I'm just going to line this up for now. It's going to go up to the top here. And then it'll come across like this to the bottom of that roof piece. That's perfect. Come across like so. And then I honestly, yeah, let's make it a little longer. Perfect, but we need to stop the Z fighting because it'll drive me insane. This is the part of the builds that usually takes me forever because I hate when the pixels fight each other. So I spend all this time like lining them up just perfectly so that they won't do that. What is my second favorite animal? I don't know. Maybe the otter? The, um, the small clawed otter? Those are very cute. Or is that too big comparative? For example, like if we got rid of this and we brought this in just a little bit, I might be second guessing my choices. Like so. Yeah, I like that a little better. Oh well. <laughs> so then if we do this and we kind of put one every little wall spacer and I don't oh you know what actually this pergola on the building is down the short side of things it's actually down this way so if we take this building we take this and do it would be like let's see i kind of want it to be here because i kind of want it to be backed up against this and then you come around here and you walk but if we do Would that be oriented so if we did this on this side it means our little pergola thingy would be here let me give you the picture again if we did this on this side it means this little pergola thingy would be like right here and then this would be like more of an open plaza which does make sense if this if this is going to be a restaurant this could be like an outdoor patio plaza seating okay convinced myself Ooh, oh copies are a good one those are a good animal they're an interesting animal too very interesting looking okay let's get this lined up with this side they should have added the sea otter to the conservation pack 
Yeah, but we already do have two otters, so I could see where they're wanting to add um, some different animals first. Not to say that they won't ever want to add the sea otter, but adding um, adding a third otter is a li little bit redundant um, for a pack like that. Perfect. Then that fits fits beautifully. Okay. So then we need the beam like this to go across. Oh no. Wait. We need to we need to keep it on the grid for building purposes. <laughs> that way I can align things and it can be nice. But now we know how we want it oriented. We'll add this back, but we'll move this over here. That's a little pro pro tip pro tip. Um, I always try to keep things on the world grid as long as I can, because it allows you to very easily rotate things 90 degrees from one another um, while you're building. And then once you have it built, you put it into place. Oh, hello. Uh, you put it into place and then you don't have to worry with like things just line up a little bit better when they're on the world grid. There we go. Ooh, emus or swans would be great. Wait. Don't we have an emu? I feel like we... Am I going crazy? Because somebody made fun of the way I said it. No, we don't have an emu. Okay, that would be cool. Secretary bird is a big one on my t my uh, wish list. I would love a secretary bird. I think they are so cool. And the way they hunt is so funny. <laughs> that I would I would be so excited if we got one. But just birds in general, which I do think are coming. If you've seen anybody's video on the new bat walkthrough aviary, I uh, I totally think that they are coming. A kiwi would be super cool. We have the cassowary. That's probably what it was. Is I was probably talking about the emus because I was talking about the cassowary for something. Because, yeah, somebody said I say it weird. All right. I don't want to do too many per thing because then I feel like it just gets overwhelming. So I think this is a good, a good amount of slats. Like that. But I do think I should copy this over as a supportive thing. So it looks like, oh, hello. Looks like these beams actually have something that they're connected to. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. And now that I'm looking at it, I realize that it's actually down here in the picture. <laughs> That's way too short for our little keeper, but let's let's just raise it all up, shall we? Can we do this. Come here, keeper. You need to be able to walk under this pergola. Goodness lord, camera. Okay. There we go. Now we can walk under that. That's better. So much nicer. Gives it a little bit more depth, I guess. Is that the right word? Interest? More accurate to the picture. Oh, so is the habitat going to be a pit habitat? Um... It's going to be a, no, it's going to be a raised habitat with a dry moat. So dry moat with fence in it, guests are raised and they're looking out over this lawn area is how it's going to be. Now, this fence is one of my favorite parts 
of this build and I don't know if I can recreate it, but we are going to try. Let me actually, oh, hello, not the rocks, please. Move you all back this way, okay? And this I think might be the last thing we do. I'm having a blast playing, but I do have other things that I need to do today. <laughs> um, no, pull. That's not it either, painted. Yeah, because as, as much as I want to, playing Planet Zoo all day today is not feasible for me. So if we make this out of these pieces, we might just have to like fake it because while these pieces are thick, that's thick, thin. Or if we just do this kind, because the pieces are kind of like this, where they like, they overlap one another with a piece in the middle that connects them like that but I don't want to make it too um, thick of a fence because I don't want it to be super high. So we might just have to really slant it like this. Get this lined up. That looks chaotic right now, but hold, hold on, bear with me. It, it may come together. I'm not guaranteeing it, but it's a possibility. Where the heck did these things go? What the heck? Didn't I look them up and painted? Oh, right here. A uh, thin piece up like so. It's gonna be an interesting fence to say the least. Like if that connects there and that connects there got an interesting pattern to it for sure do I like it I don't know yet <laughs> but it's different raise this up like so and then we can do one more of these along the way like that is probably good so let me see if I actually change these out how do I keep losing these pieces? Okay, there we go. Thin, thin, so maybe like this. Building fences is difficult. <laughs> it's like one of the things that's the most abundant on the Steam Workshop because they're difficult to do. They're deceivingly difficult to do. Because the scale in Planet Zoo is difficult in and of itself. So if we do that, question mark, do we hate this? I don't quite know how I feel. I don't know if this is like cool in like a weird abstract kind of way. Or if it's just dumb looking. What do we think? Looks nice. So in love with the wombat, they just look too adorable and they have uh, great animations. I haven't spent a lot of time watching them yet. So I need to. Does that look terrible? <laughs> Doesn't look dumb, but it looks something else, Heather. Is that what you're gonna say? Let's recolor it to be um, light colored because that's what color I'm gonna keep it. Maybe even lighter than that. Like that. Like that. And then maybe... 
Maybe like that. Do you like it? <laughs> Just a thick curb. Well, this is like the guest facing fence, right? I think it looks interesting because like this one right here, my God, what is the camera doing today? This one is gonna go along this side like this and then the habitat will drop down from this. Uh, I'm sorry, not the habitat. The moat will drop down from this and the habitat will be on the other side, but there's going to be like a more wiry metal fence on the uh, in the moat. So from here, it'll drop down and then go back up and the habitat will be off to this side. But yeah, I mean, once we add some trees and things, like let's, let's get some greenery because that's like my favorite part of any build. Let's get something. We'll vote for scenery, I'm sorry, foliage in the habitat like we always do. But let me just grab, not that tree because we have a ton of them already. We need no more of those trees. I actually kind of like this tree with this build, but not for right there. So I'm gonna put this over there just as a, is there, oh, there is a smaller one. <laughs> there is a smaller one. So maybe something like on the start. I guess it could be on this side. But we'll put it there. That's a good tree. Good tree. That's a nice boulder. All right. That tree. And then is there like a cool sapling that might look nice? I mean, this one's always a good one, right? I don't, this, this one matches the house too much. The bark is too white. Not that one. That one doesn't match. Ooh. Ooh. This one could work if we put it like this. Because there's kind of these like smaller little trees along the edges. Is that still hitting the ground? It is. You know? You know? You know? Something like this? You can always bring this out so it doesn't look so crowded. I always find myself like, if everything has to be close together, type proximity, but like people can see far. It's just me that can't see far. I can use the new ones. I think this is a good start. I like this start. Let's get some animals, mostly because I need them for the, the screenshot. <laughs> I need them for the thumbnail to screenshot and get a thumbnail. So let's get one of each and then we'll vote next time, like how many um, to get all together. So we'll get, these are all terrible. We'll get him because he's the least terrible. And then we'll get zebra, plain zebra. We'll get, they're all kind of terrible too, but we'll get you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a picture like, like this, but get rid of all this long grass because that bothers me. Like that. We're going to move all this closer to something so it doesn't look like it's sitting in the way. This is your behind the scenes sneak a peek -a of, um, how I make my thumbnails. That's a little too close. Like this. And yeah, this building I think will look, will do really good um, up on the workshop because it's, it's kind of an easy one because it's all pieces. The ones that are difficult are ones that include like terrain elevations and water. <laughs> so water sucks in Planet Zoo. We'll do this and we'll get a nice, nice pretty shot of it with some blue sky and some clouds in the background. So we'll do this and uh, depth of field. No, thank you. There we go. Snap that. Perfect. 
And then we need, let's just put them over here real quick. I need to build a habitat and we need to put the animals in it. I hate the stuff from the workshop that you need specific path alignment. I honestly, I try very hard, oops, never to upload things on the workshop that need paths um, or that have paths incorporated into the build because of that. This is an ugly shaped habitat um, because it just makes it difficult for people. And it's frustrating when you download something and then you, you can't uh, use it correctly or it's a pain in the butt to kind of get situated um, so I try really hard so I actually get a lot of questions on you know can you put that on the workshop can you put this on the workshop and honestly things that are easy to put on the workshop I do but things that are gonna be difficult I, I don't really because it's just more of a pain for people It's more of a pain for me because then I get all these comments saying that it's my fault it doesn't work <sighs> We need planet coaster water. The problem is, is it needs to be volumetric because we need to be able to have animals swim in it. So I get why it is the way it is. It's just annoying. Can you turn around into the sun? Would be great. Please and thank you. Turn around. I hate when people put stuff on the workshop that have terrible names. Yeah, that's another thing. It's like, name it what it is. Short, simple, to the point. Just tell me what it is. Now, giraffes are somewhat hard to take screenshots of because their necks are so freaking long. I need this. Actually, let's do a couple of these. Because if the blue sky is in the background when we cut the green screen, it leaves a little blue haze around the animal when I delete the green screen. So I always have like a little wall section. So let's do, that is probably good. Let's raise this up so that there's no blue behind him. Let's go to our photo. Let's zoom in on the face. Look at how cute he is. Zoom in on the face. Like, camera's really jumpy like that. And then we get our green screen and we pull it up like, can I get that? Yeah. Beautiful. There's our giraffe. And, excuse me, mister, can you turn around? That would be great. Rather dapper fellow. He is. Okay, you've turned around. Stop eating. I know, I'm picky. Do this, do that. Pay attention. Pose. That's another thing I would love for Planet Zoo to add, is to be able to move these guys around. At no. Move these guys around at will and kind of rotate them and whatnot would be perfect. Beautiful. Look at him look to the side. That's exactly what I wanted, little buddy. Now let's get you. Look at that profile. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you for cooperating so nicely. Let's do you like this. And... Voila, we have our screenshot. All right, you guys, how do we do today? I feel like we were super productive. We streamed for two hours, right? Cause I started at 1030 today. Yeah, we streamed for two hours and we got a lot done. Oh, that's true, Goron, when you, um, when you read it in the Steam Workshop and then you download it and the name is different so you can't find it. I agree. What do I do with the screenshot next? Do you guys want to come with me and see? Because I'll, I'll open up. I got to do it anyway. So um, let me save this. Excuse me. Um, 
Let me make sure I've saved it since I'm multitasking. I don't want to accidentally lose everything that we worked on because I really like what we did today. Let's go. Okay, cool. I'll bring you with me. Uh-oh, it kind of froze for a second. But it's back. It's okay. Let's close that. Bring up Photoshop. Let's come back to gameplay. All the stuff is going to be on the side, but there you go. Come on, load. We're going to go to Photoshop. First, actually, let me uh, move the pictures into the correct folder so that I can find them. Because they show up in like a generic folder. Um, but I need to move them to my animal photo and my green screen picture. So green screen pictures. And actually those two green screen pictures I can put on my website too. Um, which would be great. Because I'm trying to get a collection of all of them. Okay. Now we're going to open. There's my piebald uh, thumbnail for the video I haven't made yet. But I made the thumbnail because they're my favorite part of making videos. <laughs> so these are all my green screen animals if you can see. I have lots of them. Look at how pretty the piebald is. Look at that little penguin. But yeah, these are all my screenshots. These are the ones that are uploaded on my website for people to download and use. So we need our zebra and our giraffe. And I always keep them because I never know when I might need one. So there's that. And then we need to open, uh, go to videos, stream zoo. And here is the picture that we took of that. And then, very last thing, we need to go to my channel assets, these assets, and live stream. Beautiful. So now we take this and we bring it over to here. We line it up like so. I want to check and see. It's pretty bright already. We might raise it just a little bit. And then keep the contrast where it should be. There we go. We'll drop this below the border so that the border's on top. Let's zoom out a bit because this gives me a better idea of what it's going to look like as a thumbnail. Uh, because thumbnails are tiny when you look at them. So we'll do that to kind of cut out some of the blank edge. We need to make this a layer by double clicking on it. We need to go to color range, select green, okay. Delete gets rid of my color screen. We'll bring him onto here. Doing this very fast. This is not meant to be a tutorial. <laughs> color range, select, delete, okay. I do this very often, so I've gotten fairly quick at it. And then I don't need this, I don't need this, don't save it, and I don't need this, don't save it. So then what I might do, um, just because of the way the live stream is, is let's transform it and flip it the other way. Same thing with you. Let's uh, transform you and flip you the other way. And then it's a matter of, I want both of these above my border. Let's take the giraffe first and kind of get him maybe, maybe not quite so large. You situated there. Let's bring you, my giraffe kind of is, is rather large. I maybe shouldn't have gotten him so zoomed in, but that's okay. We can make it work like that. And then maybe we even bring you above the giraffe so that you kind of fit. Doesn't look bad. Maybe, yeah, this is just finagling it to make it look how I want it to look, like composition wise. There we go. That looks better. Like so. Ta-da! It's fun to see the behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind ever really showing you guys. Um, I was actually just having this conversation um, with uh, uh, Chanti. <laughs> I don't know why. I couldn't remember his name. Uh, Geekism. Uh, because 
we were talking about how creators shouldn't really be in competition with each other. Um, it's, you know, you against you. So I don't mind showing off how I do these things. If another creator finds out and, and wants to do it, this is not the right folder. Live stream thumbnails is what I want. Giraffe zebra thumbnail. Um, if another creator wants to copy it and do it, go for it. Fantastic. I would love to help out creators because this is definitely not a secret and something I, f I feel like people can figure out on their own. In fact, actually, now that I'm looking at this, maybe we want... More like that. Yeah, that's a little better. It's a little more balanced. Okay, perfect. So anyway, I don't ever mind showing these things off. Because we are only in competition with each other. Where did I just save this? Right here. Save, save, yes, yes. Beautiful. And then that's it. Then I just close Photoshop and I'm done. And I will upload it. And it'll be my thumbnail. And it'll be music, or be beautiful, be music, be beautiful. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out and joining us. Is your first stream with you and I hope not the last one. You're so nice to, and chat is so nice too. I had a great time. We're so happy to have you, July. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'm gonna go get myself something to eat and um, work on some more content, really. My office is kind of hot, so I'm gonna open the window and turn a fan on so I don't die. But yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I will see you in the next one. Uh, next Thursday should be our next stream around the same time, 10 a.m. Hope to see you there.